Hello, this is Eric at Prince George Ford, and we're taking a look at the 2020 Ford F-150 in a Lariat trim, powered by a 5 liter V8, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing, and coming with some great additions installed here at Prince George Ford, such as a 6 inch BDS lift kit with pocket style fender flares, uh, bulletproof mud flaps on the front and rear tires, and sitting on some 35 inch Toyo All Terrain Open Country tires. Uh, all installed here at Prince George Ford, and this is the Sport Edition, so you've got the nice racing stripes on the sides and front, uh, but let's take a look inside. So first look in the back where you have spacious seating for three with a nice full leather interior with the, the red accents everywhere of course as well, even the seat belts. And in the middle you have fold out armrests with two cup holders, as well as two more here in the center with a 12 volt, two USBs, and a 110 volt power outlet. And then you do also have heated rear seats, and these seats can be folded completely up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo you want to put back here. And you do have fitted rubber floor mats throughout the vehicle. Now this truck does also have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, power folding mirrors, and three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, steering wheel, pedals, and your mirrors. So now sitting in the truck with it running, it is a push start with a proximity key, so no need to fiddle around, just put the key in your pocket or purse and you're good to go. But looking at the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your hands-free phone radio controls, and on the left hand side you have your cruise control buttons and then your controls for your center screen, where you can cycle through information such as your trip 1 and 2 stats, as well as your fuel economy, compass, and then your auto start stop status. Then you have truck info such as your tire pressures, digital speedometer, and engine info. Then you have your towing status and information, your off-road status, and then uh, settings for features around your vehicle, as well as your screen setup. And then you have your favorites view where you can put any of those subcategories for ease of access. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio, Sirius, and Bluetooth, I believe. So you do have some options there for whatever you want to listen to, however you want to listen to it. Then you have your digital climate controls with dual front climate, as well as, um, I believe also, a heated steering wheel, which you can access from here, so you can keep your fingers warm. And then your Bluetooth phone controls, your navigation screens, you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels whatever apps you may have installed, and then settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. But then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera with reverse sensors that will alert you if you're about to hit anything. And then you have your dynamic hitch view, so you can zoom in and hopefully have an easier time hooking up a trailer. Above that, you have your traction control shut off, your hazards, your um, auto start stop shut off, so when you're sitting idle, the engine will shut off to uh, cut down on emissions and conserve some fuel. Then you have your uh, lane departure warning shut off as well, I believe. Uh, vehicle does also have a premium bang and all of some sound system, so your audio is going to sound pretty nice in this truck. But then moving down, you have your physical media and climate controls with heated and air conditioned front seats with three levels each. Uh, to the left of that, you have your 4x4 controls with four auto and locking rear differential. Below that, you have your pro trailer backup assist and your trailer brake controller. On the right hand side you have your 12 volt power outlet and a 110 volt power outlet so you can plug something in there. Then down here you have this compartment which opens up to reveal two USBs and some space so you can plug something in there too. Uh, then you have your main shifter with select shift on the side so you can manually shift through your gears and your drive mode selector where you can select uh, normal, tow haul, snow and wet, eco and sport mode so you can customize your uh, driving experience like that. You have two cup holders, compartment there, and your center locking compartment slash armrest here in the center, which does have a removable tray, and inside you have a ton of space and another 12 volt power outlet, so you can plug something in there too. And then uh, last but not least, you do also have a sliding power sliding rear window and a big old, let's see, twin panel moonroof up top so you can land in the sunshine on a nice sunny day. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're looking for a truck with some nice accessories still installed here at Prince George Ford, feel free to come on down and have a look or just give us a call at 250-563-8111 and have a nice day.